men out the boys. The head was a pass away with a great noise. The second beat of three and ten. God, I know he coming back. Tell a friend to repent. Oh, he going with the wind. Free smoke, free smoke. And that is thus said the Lord. I caught a murder that he wrote. Just like Noah on the boat. Matthew 34, verse 36 on down. The hour nobody knows. Like a thief in the night. When the Christ coming back here, life switching with the Father won't. That's my business when we keep it lost. That's righteousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a pass test. My people scattered abroad. From the east to the west. Hey, my brother, there's walking. You right there. Listen to this verse. Read 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that, the t that ye are the temple of God? Know ye not that you are the temple of God? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of God dwelleth in each and every one of you brothers. No. But this is one thing that you're doing that you're not supposed to be doing because you're defiling your temple. Read. If any man defile his temple, if, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So by you defiling your temple by having that black and mild or rolling that blunt because I was there. I rolled blunts as big as I don't know what. But when I found out it was a law that we wasn't supposed to be smoking, then that's destroying your temple. That's right. The pork is destroying your temple. Right. Anything that's going outside of this Bible is destroying. So God is going to destroy you by having that black and mild in your hand. Right. And y'all going to go around and hot box around the hood and stuff. Right. That's not good. Right. He's going to destroy you for that. Um, give me... Um, Deuteronomy, no, Job 9 and 24. Because we are in the land where there's nothing but wickedness. That's right. Anything that you see through the media, through going into that store, anything, it's the land of the wicked because the white people own it, your enemy own it. So right. if your enemy own it, then you're going to follow right behind it. Read. Right. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We got gang banging. That's wicked. Right. You got prostitution. That's wicked. Right. All you seeing is through the media. So you're being brainwashed to say, okay, well, whatever I see through the media, I'm going to follow it. Right. I don't know nothing else. Lack of knowledge. It's, it's a lack of knowledge because we haven't been taught that. That's right. We haven't been taught the right way. Right. Only thing we've been taught was lie upon lie upon lie right. we got to reverse that and come back to these laws if we come back to these laws then that's when we're going to start becoming in order when we become in order then we could teach our younger generation how to grow up and be properly conduct themselves amongst society right. we don't know that because we we're destroyed for the lack of knowledge read the book of hosea chapter 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed of lack of knowledge, meaning when we go into these religions, they don't teach us knowledge. Right. Right. They don't teach us anything. They want us to, re to condemn ourselves in sin. Bring it out. If our leaders were in line to this day, we wouldn't be under these conditions. Right. We'll be knowing who we are to this day. We'll be marrying our sisters to this day. That's right. We wouldn't be doing none of this. But we are suffering a lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So when you reject these laws, he's going to look back and say, oh, well, they don't want to listen to what this word is saying. Well, forget them. Forget them. Which, that's what the pastor is supposed to be teaching us. Malachi 2 and 7. The pastor is supposed to be teaching us Bring the knowledge. Right. We're supposed to be falling under them because that's where we go to when we dealing with something. But they all say, nah, you read what you sow. We have questions. Oh, nah, uh, go figure it out for yourself. We even put our hard-earned dollar into their pockets when they're just doing the, the pyramid. The the pyramid scheme. They playing us. That's right. right. We out here to teach you these laws so you can come back in order. That's right. Read. The book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. 
what you're looking at is your prophets that's going to teach you because we got the knowledge and we're going to spread that love to you guys because we love you guys. That's right. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So you don't see Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes teaching the law at his mouth because the only right. thing he wants is your hard-earned money to keep his building at a high standard. Keep those people that are asleep to keep coming in back and forth, back and forth. But they're supposed to be teaching you the knowledge that's right. because that's supposed to be our leader. He's leading you into destruction. Right. He's going to lead you to death. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. We are the messenger of the Lord of hosts. We want to see you come back to these laws so you can get yourself together. Right. Give me Proverbs 4 and 4. Because this is what is going to help you. Like say for instance, you have your parent. Your parent is telling you to clean up. You're going to hearken to his instructions so you can clean up so you won't have to hear his mouth or anything. This is what the Bible is telling you. Listen to my instructions so you can live. This Bible is your blueprint. That's right. It's your blueprint to live. If you're not doing what this Bible is saying, oh, you're going down a wrong path. Right. You're going down for destruction. Read. Right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 4. He taught me also. Uh, Start at verse 1. Verse 1. Hear ye, children. So you are the children. We are the children of the Most High. We have to gain the understanding by hearing. Read. The instructions of a father. The instructions of a father. When you have a father, you hearken to his instructions, right? You don't want to disobey what your father's saying, right? This is the same thing. Don't disobey what your heavenly father is saying to you. Read. And attend to no understanding. So when you get instructions, you get a little knowledge. Right. Like, say for instance, you have a computer and you're going to build on that computer. You got to read the instructions in order to build the computer. You don't want to close the book and then, okay, well, let me build this computer and so forth. You're not going to know anything. That's where you got to open up the Bible to receive the instructions of life. Read. For I give you good doctrine. He gives you good doctrine. All these other doctrines is not beneficial to you. All these other doctrines is detrimental to you. Right. We're giving you the good doctrine, which is the life. Read. Right. Forsake ye not my law. Okay. All right. Read that. Forsake ye not my law. Forsake not the law. Don't forget this law. This law is going to help you. So I got one question for you. You see this sign right here? Who is this? To y'all. That's the, the image portrayed by the white man is the GSG. Right, where we see in most of our churches, right? Yeah. Who is that? The true image of Christ. All right, I'll praise. We're going to get that. Give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. going to let you know because if color didn't matter... Then why do we see all these? Why we see the devil in the churches if color didn't matter? If color didn't matter, you wouldn't be seeing the Bible with pictures of your enemy. That's letting you know they're trying to say we higher than you, we right. mightier than you, right. while you low of the low. Right. But you are something special, right. something far more greater, but we wasn't taught that. Bring it out. Hold that, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 to let you know that no. you are far greater than these other nations portray themselves to be. Y'all right, right. are the true Jews of the Bible. Y'all right. are far mightier than what they are. Read. Right, right. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. You are the holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So he didn't choose these other nations to be special unto himself. He chose the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be his chosen people. Right. So now, go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1 to let you know that color is in the Bible. But T.D. Jakes doesn't teach that. Creflo Dollar doesn't teach that. Right. Your local pastors doesn't teach that because they want to keep you in the sin. Oh, finish that up. Above all people. No, equal to all people. Above all people. So you just letting you know you higher than the rest. There's more on that? Yeah. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. Upon the face of the earth. 
Meaning, like I said, you on that pedal stool. Right. God is only dealing with you and not these other nations. Right. And, and he, is it true that he was, when we were put here, not the white man to run the world, but that was really, that was for us. How it go? How yeah, the world is for you. Yeah, we The world is for you. What's that? Power, um, power, power. Servants upon the... Remember you said you oh, okay, Revelations 1 and 1. I'm going to just explain the color scriptures for you. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, things which must shortly come to pass. So John the Revelator is going to give you a description of what Christ looked like. Out. Just, just picture that on that on this sign right here. We're gonna bring this out to you so it can be painted vividly. That's right. Because if we just say it upon our own words, then it's gonna go in one ear and out the other. It's right. not gonna stand. So we're trying to paint the picture vividly so you can see for yourself that you are something far greater. Read verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. So my question is, who has the woolly hair? What, what group of nation has the woolly hair? You, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the ones with the woolly hair. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Like our elders, they grow their hair out. It'd be dark one minute, and as soon as they age, it, get, it tends to get light. Read. And his eyes was as a flame of fire. So his eyes was a flame of fire. Do you know what that's going into? Give me uh, Genesis 49 and 12. Because, say for instance, that's moderation of drinking. When we tend to drink in moderation, our eyes tend to change color. Right. Just like the picture right there. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes must be red with wine because Christ drunk wine in moderation. Right. Read. And his teeth white with milk. So his teeth was white with milk. Like, just picture, you know, a dark-skinned man and he's smiling. He got them pearling white. The pearling white are blind you because his teeth is just white. Uh, go back to Revelations 1 and 15. Get out. Teach. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet like unto fine brass. Right. That's going into a derivative of the color of copper. You know, the derivative of brown. So fine brass, you know, if you look at the penny, you see a color of brown, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So I was it burned in a furnace. So say for instance, I didn't took a steak and then put it on a grill. And then I go in the house and I do something else and I forget the steak is on the grill. What color does that turn into? Black. Right, all praises. It turned into black, read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. All right, go to um, Job chapter 30 and verse 30. This is also a scripture that our pastors doesn't teach us. T.D. Jakes doesn't teach us. Creflo Dollar doesn't teach us. So we're, we're bringing these color scriptures to let you know that you are part of this Bible. Read. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. My No, no, it says my skin is white behind upon me. My skin is black upon me. My skin is black upon me. Let That's me know who you are according to the Bible. Right. This is your Bible. That's That's right. This is not nobody else's Bible but yours. Right. Read. And my bones are burnt with heat. So now, let's get a little more about color. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Because all I see in Natchez, Mississippi is the Jews. The real Jews that the Bible speaks of. Yeah. Not these white heathens that they are in Israel. Those are not the true Jews. Right. What I see to this day in the ghettos, y'all are the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourning and the gates thereof language. So that's going into our leadership. We don't even have leadership. I can't run to somebody and say, hey, I'm dealing with this and I'm dealing with that. I can't run to that, but now you can run to that because we're back on this earth. We are the prophets of the Most High God, and we're here to teach you repenting. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
it's so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.